So still, a lot of candidates, once they apply, they will get either a phone or email to be prepared for doing a phone interview, and after that, face-to-face -face interview. In terms of interviewing, what tips do you have for job seekers and how should they should be prepared? Is there a difference between the phone interview and face-to-face -face interview in terms of the preparation? Yeah, uh, so um, the question is, is there a difference between how a candidate should prepare for a virtual interview versus a in-person interview? Yes. Um, uh, maybe, um, I, I'm not going to, uh, if, if you're doing a phone interview, I don't see why you can't do the phone interview in your sweatpants. Um, but, but maybe you feel more professional by getting dressed as though you would be going into an in-person interview mm -hmm. and maybe that'll help you to be more professionally responsive in, in the process. Yeah. But, but that's an individual decision, I suppose. Um, but, you know, aside from how you dress, which I'm sure is not what you want the question to focus <laughs> on, um, aside from that, I would say, no, I think that the, um, that the, the, the preparation should be the same. Um, you know, you absolutely need to do your research on the business. I was thinking about this question last night on my drive home, actually, um, and thinking, how should people, um, prepare. And I thought, you know, I always really enjoy um, authentic, genuine people who show up as themselves. Y you, you generally get a sense when somebody is wearing a mask or not really being their true self in a, in a conversation. Mm -hmm. I, I think our limbic brain just picks up on that. Yes. Um, and and it, so it makes it very hard to get past that and get into do I believe that this person can do the job, that they've got the skills, that they would fit in well, and so on and so forth. Um, so I, I generally uh, have a much better experience with a candidate um, if I feel that they're comfortable enough to be themselves. And a lot of that responsibility lies with me as the interviewer to help make them comfortable so that they can be themselves. Um, and so if, if that turns out that they're a bit of on the geek side, then, then that's fun and cool. And, it, and if it turns out that they're very talkative and animated, then that's a lot of fun. Um, but, and, and, and even if they're introverted and, and, and a little, you know, have a little tougher time really expressing themselves, that's quite okay. The, the, you know, but being their authentic self is the first thing I look for. Mm -hmm. The second thing I look for is, have they actually researched this this or this organization do they understand who we are what our brands are um what the job description is calling for if they if they can demonstrate that they have uh looked into it they might not necessarily know all of the answers um but but that they've ex they've expressed enough interest to take an hour to research uh and look some stuff up that's very impressive to me um and that speaks a lot to their passion and their energy that they're going to put into things. Um, it, 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 um, I always make sure that I ask questions that yeah. will expose whether they've investigated or not. And if they haven't, it, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty tough uphill climb for, from there. A lot of time we say, we tell our you know, job seekers that reach, research the company or even research the person you are interviewing. Do you mm -hmm. feel that it's appropriate to send a LinkedIn, LinkedIn email or message to the recruiter or the hiring manager before meeting them in person? Do you think that it's okay or it all depends? So, sorry, what, um, what you're asking me, let, let's imagine I was applying for a job with you. Yes. Um, are you asking me if it would be appropriate for me to send you a note through LinkedIn? Yes. Um, I don't think it's not appropriate. Um, I don't think it's inappropriate, rather. Um, so long as the, the tone and the content is on topic. It's, mm -hmm. it's about, hey, I wanted to ask a couple of clarifying questions, maybe about what the posting says, or I wanted to get a sense how people dress at the office um, because I'm not sure if this is casual or not. Um, yeah, I, I think that that's perfectly fine. And um, you know, it's, 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 it's just as appropriate as a thank you note. Yes. 
And we always encourage to people to ask questions. So in that sense, what do you think job seekers should ask questions? What kind of questions they should ask during the face-to-face -face interview question, in, uh, interview? Um, uh, here's a question that I don't get asked very often, uh, but it really stands out when I do hear it. Um, when somebody wants to understand what challenges I'm facing, mm -hmm. if, 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 the, if the candidate can express an intellectual curiosity to understand, hey, what sort of challenges are keeping me awake at night? Mm -hmm. Um, that really draws us together because that person has expressed an interest in helping me, which goes beyond expressing an interest in the job, you know, and the, and the paycheck and the benefits. They're, they're actually diving a lot deeper into what sort of things are going on here that I could be getting involved in where I could bring some help and some energy. Um, I love those types of questions. Anything that sort of brings us closer, mm -hmm. anything that, um, that, allows me or compels me to visualize the person actually in the job. Um, what other questions? You know, it's not acceptable to not have questions. And, and I, still, I, I still can't believe it, Meher, but I still get people that say, yeah, I don't really have any questions. And when I hear that, when I hear that, what I actually hear is them saying, I'm actually not really that interested. Mm, yeah. Right? They should ask at least two or three questions. This is the requirement. You know, how is the job here? What do you like working here? You know, those kind of sure. things. And again, thank you for sharing that, Steve. And again, for yeah. the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of preparation. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I, I did have one more question, which I, and, and I do get asked this once in a while. And I think this is a great question. If people ask me, what do successful people look like here? Mm. Or successful people here, how do they behave? What are the behavioral traits of a, of a successful person here? That, that really helps me to bring to life what we're truly looking for in, in so far as how does Meher show up every day? What sort of behavioral attributes does Meher demonstrate? That's a good question. I hope the listeners will take that into consideration when applying for their second job. As I was saying, if you like have any other tips, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Steve.